Hello everyone! Again, this is Teacher Judea. For today, we will discuss about analogy. So, when describing something, we often resort to making comparisons to establish a clear idea of what we are trying to describe or explain. There are many types of comparisons in the English language, including the use of figure of speech, like simile and metaphor. This lesson focuses on how the use of other rhetorical devices like analogy in comparing things in order to describe or make a point. Our objective is to use analogy to describe or make a point. Okay, so what can you say about a three? Can a tree be associated to life? So, how will you relate life to a tree? Okay, give at least five concepts that will show the relationship between the two. You may comment down below your answer. Okay? So, let's have the first task. So, you're going to read, examine, and classify each sentence below as to simile, metaphor, or analogy. You may now start answering. Okay, so let's have number one. He is as thin as a stick. The answer is simile. Number two. Life is like a bag of candies. You never know what you're getting to eat. Okay, the answer is analogy. How about number three? Life is a wonderful journey. The answer is Metaphor. But number four, this problem is a dead sentence. The answer is metaphor. Five, teaching students requires the same passion you would give to plants in a garden. Nurture them, care for them, let them experience both light and dark. Soon, they will grow and bloom like you expect them to be. The answer is analogy. Six, her smile beams like the sunshine. The answer is simile. Simile compares two unrelated things using the word like or as, while metaphor compares two unrelated things without the use of like or as. Let's have task 2. Identify which of the statements below are true about analogy. Write go if the statement is correct and no if it is says the otherwise. Let's have number 1. Analogy can show comparison between unrelated things. The answer is go. Number two. Analogy is another term for simile. The answer is no. Three. Analogy can be used to explain a point. The answer is go. Four. Some analogies compare relationships. The answer is Go. For number five, analogy can be used to describe unfamiliar concepts. The answer is, okay, go. Okay, what is an analogy? So, comparing objects or ideas is a common practice, especially when writing. While there are many types of comparisons that one can make through usual figures of speech, like simile and metaphor, 
there are also literary techniques or devices that can show and provide a more detailed comparison of things and ideas. One example of these techniques is the use of analogy. An analogy is a literary technique that involves comparison of how two things are alike, but with the ultimate goal of making a point about this comparison. So although often quite similar or related with simile and metaphor, an analogy is not a figure of speech. It is a rhetorical device used to make rational arguments and support ideas by showing connections and comparisons between unlike things. The main function of analogy is not just to show, but also to explain or justify. Meanwhile, figures of speech, like simile or metaphor, only aim to show with a providing clear descriptions or explanations. As such, analogy is more complex in nature than figure of speech. Now, let's take a look at how simile, metaphor, and analogy differ from each other through this example. Right, for simile, life is like a three. So again, simile is a comparison between two unrelated objects with the use of like or us. While metaphor, example, life is a three. Again, comparing to unrelated things without the use of like or us. While analogy, example, life is just like a three. It starts from a seedling that grows into a full-grown tree that has trunk and branches that make itself strong and bears wonderful fruits. Okay, so analogy is more complex in nature than the figure of speech. Generally, there are two types of analogy commonly employed in writing. The first one is the analogies that identify identical relationship. So this type of analogy takes form of A is to B as C is to B. It is often used to directly illustrate similar relationships between two pairs of words open for the purpose of logical argument. Example, English is the language as mathematics is to arithmetic. So the example above vividly shows the connections between English and language and mathematics and arithmetic. English is basically a subject that focuses on language while mathematics deals primarily with arithmetic or numbers. Next is analogies that identify shared abstraction. This form of analogy compares two things or concepts that are technically unrelated in order to establish a connection between the characteristics that they share. So this type is common and useful in writing because it can make abstract ideas and concepts more concrete. So example, what soldiers do for the country, what blood cells do inside the body. So in the given example, the abstract concept of how white blood cells function in the body is made clear by explaining that they protect everything inside, like how soldiers perform their sworn duty to protect their country. So in writing analogies, play the function of making abstract concepts more concrete, adding depth and feeling to an image and describing and making a point to establish an argument. Okay, so for our last task, you have to complete the table below by providing an analogy for each given topics or situation. So the given situations are first, holding classes online, keeping the family safe from COVID-19, 
and buying essential goods during enhanced community quarantine or ECQ. So just comment down below your answer. Okay, so remember, an analogy is like a thought with another thought's hat on by Jillian Jacobs. So I hope that you learn new lesson for today. Goodbye everyone. This is Teacher Judea.